probably shouldn't say this, but did you hear the sound of angels' wings while my daughter was playing the organ? <laughs> <laughs> Charles Dickens uh, once wrote, it was the best of times and it was the worst of times. And that kind of explains uh, the past few months in my family's life, Sandy and I. The reason being is we bought a puppy. <laughs> I've never owned a dog before, so I really didn't know quite what to expect. But one thing I did know is I wanted him to be a good dog. And so I understand in order to have a good dog, they have to go to obedience school. So we enrolled Cash, that's his name. We figured he'd go through a lot of it. And by the way, he has lived up to his name. We, we enrolled Cash in the Patient Paul's Puppy Academy. Six weeks of intense training. Now, I figured it would be Patient Paul's Puppy Academy would be run similarly as Fairhaven Baptist Academy, and that we'd drop him off in the morning, and then I'd pick him up in the car line at 3.30, and he would be trained. But it doesn't work that way. What it is is they train the owners to train the dog. And so Sandy and I went through six weeks of intensive obedience training. <laughs> the dog's the same, but it's done wonders for our marriage. <laughs> in, the, in the facility, there's a, there was a poster, a banner. And the poster said, <clears throat> my goal in life is to be the kind of person my dog thinks I am. And those of you that have dogs, this kind of has a special, special meaning to it. But I call your attention to a poster that we had in our auditorium at the beginning of the year, where it said, doing right in God's eyes. And it, the other thing kind of pales into significance when you, when you think about living for God and, and doing right in his eyes. When I, when I first saw the poster up in the auditorium here, I... Yeah, I thought, well, Pastor Dameron's thinking again, and then I got to thinking, well, that'd be a nice goal to have in your life. But the more I saw it, and I, and I, I got a bookmark, and I had it on a bookmark, and kind of our church theme, the more God really began to convict my heart about not doing right in God's eyes. Sam Burrito and I were just talking this morning to each other, and, and he said, it's, it's, it's amazing how fast a Christian can get away from basics. And that's a, that's a basic principle. And the more I, I thought about it, the more I, I prayed, the more I, I began studying about it. The Bible tells us in Proverbs that the eyes of the Lord are in every place beholding the evil and the good. And Psalm 139 talks about how God knows our down-sitting, our uprising. He uh, acknowledges our ways. He knows it, it's, it's too wonderful for me. Pastor, Dam uh, pa Pastor Armacost just preached a few weeks ago about how God leads us with his eyes. And I, I don't know about you, but God really put, start putting all those things together in my life. And, and, I, and I wanted to make my goal in life is to do right in the eyes of God. I wanted to change. So I got to thinking, when, when in my Christian life did the most change happen in my life? And I got to thinking, and of course, it was back when I first got saved. When I, 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 God transformed a, a long-haired, dope-smoking hippie into a, 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 by a Bible-believing Christian. And how did he do that? He changed me. And then I got to thinking about the most motivating factor that changed me was the fact that I had another set of eyes on me. Not just my wife, not just the, the, my, my kids, but I had God, God's eyes on me. And it changed me. And I wanted it to change me. I had a a thought that I, I memorized years ago and, and, and this past three months has, has brought it back to my memory. And it's the thought that we are in the continual awareness of an almighty, loving, and a holy God. And that every thought and every word and every action and every deed and every motive is open before him and being judged by him. And I don't know about you, but that's the way I want to live my life. And I pray you, I ask that you pray for me, and as I pray for you, that we would be a church that does right in the eyes of God. Thank you. Thank you.